This great little hack shows you how to attach files to an email. Doesn't matter what email program you're using, it's all exactly the same way. If you're watching this as a short, tap the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hang tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. In most email systems, it's very easy to attach a file to an email. Just look for the paperclip, click on that, and then click on Browse. Then find the file or folder that you want to attach, double click on it, and away you go. But then in some email programs, you just don't get that option. So this guide is going to show you how you can attach an attachment to an email, no matter what email system you're using. So first of all, open up your email program and then either reply to an email or create a new email. Then the next thing we need to do is we need to find the file that we want to attach. So we just go down to the yellow folder at the bottom of the screen there, click on that and get this up and find the, the, the file. So if it's a picture, it'll probably be in pictures. If it's a document, it'll be in documents. If it's something you've downloaded, it'll be in downloads. If it's a video, it'll be in videos. And if it's a piece of music, it'll probably be in music. If it's on your desktop, then it'll be in the desktop file there. So wherever it is, go into the folder containing the file or the picture. Now I'm going to attach this picture here, the desert picture. So all I need to do is just make sure that I've got my email window open in the background, which is just here. And then what I need to do is I need to drag the picture that I want to attach. It's not that one, it's desert. So I want to drag it over the email window, then let go. And there you go. As you can see, it's attached. Now, what if when I go to this window, it's open full screen like so, and I can't see the email window behind it? Well, you could try, you could just try dragging it down to the email icon at the bottom of the screen. Let's just just try that. No, that doesn't work in this case. It does in some cases, but if that doesn't work, then what we need to do is we need to resize this window here containing the file. So first things first, go to the boxes just up there in the middle, left click once and it should resize. Now, what if when you click on that, it doesn't resize or it covers the area that we would need to drag to? Then what we can do is we can move our mouse down to the bottom right hand corner of the window, okay? And you should see when you're down the bottom right hand corner, the arrow turns into a double headed arrow. Once you see, see the double headed arrow, hold the left mouse button down and just drag inwards until you get this black border to a size that you want that window. Once you've got it to the size you want it, let it go. I can now see the window behind. So all I've got to do is just drag down, let go of the left mouse button and there you go, as you can see the next picture has been added. So as you'll see, this method actually works in any email system. So I've just opened up Thunderbird, gone into a new email. Let's go down to the folders there. There we go. And let's drag and drop. It's inserted it into the email. Let's just try that again. What we actually get come up on the screen here in Thunderbird. Now it's a bit difficult to see because the, uh, the, the the window here was covering it. So I'm just going to move the window down. Let's just drag that in, that in. And it gives us a choice. Do we want to append the picture in line? So do we want it like it's, it's done there? It's actually put the picture into my email or do we want to attach it as an attachment? So let's just get that picture back there. There we go and drag it up. And this time I'm going to drag as an attachment. And when we add it as an attachment, let's just get rid of that. It's added the next attachment at the bottom of the screen rather than an inline picture. And that's only available that option on Thunderbird as far as I know. So what about Windows Mail? Let's just open that up again. Go to new email or reply to an email. And let's just open up this window here and let's just go into documents there. And I'm going to put this document here in there. So let's just drag it over the new email, let go, minimize that or get rid of it. And there you go. It's actually attached to the email. What about if we use Yahoo? So let's just compose a new email, just find the folder with our file in, grab it, drag it and drop it 
over the email and it's got to be in the main area of the email. So like me there, the window is covering it. Let's just highlight or, or move our mouse to the top of the documents window there. Hold down the left mouse button, drag it down a little bit. We need to then find our document. So in actual fact, let's just move it across there. So it's that's a bit better placed. So let's drag it, drop it on there. So there you go, it's now attached. So we can carry on typing our email. We can say oh, it's two, put a subject in and put something in the main bulk of the email and then send it. Does it work in Outlook for Hotmail Live and Outlook accounts? Well, let's just see. So I've gone into a new email. Let's just open up that folder at the bottom and let's just drag and drop that in there. And there we go, it's attached it. And what about Gmail? Let's go into Compose. OK, go into the folder there and let's just move this window across a bit and let's just drag and drop that in there. And again, there we go. It's attached the file. So there we go. A great way of attaching stuff to emails, no matter what email system you're using. I hope this guide helps. And if it did, why not stick around? Have a look through my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.